and welcome back to Thai Global Summit 2020, world's largest entrepreneurial summit. I am your host, Akriti Anand, and once again, namaste and welcome. The sea breeze on your face, sun-kissed warmth on your skin, a heart set on new adventure. Can you feel it? Dubai has the thrill for every traveler. If you feel uh, Dubai is just another holiday destination, then you are probably mistaken because this nation plays an important role in driving world's economy. And there are some interesting plans Dubai has to lure entrepreneurs from around the globe. The next talk explores the same. Dubai ecosystem vision of the Middle East. To begin the talk, I would like to invite Mr. Ashish Punjabi. He is the president-elect Thai Dubai and chief operating officer of Jackie's Business Solutions, the group's end-to-end -end solution provider for major companies and organizations in the region, seeking efficient and effective visitor management, banking, robotics, 3D printing, and graphic solutions. Ashish is also involved in various mentorship activities as a tech mentor in In5 Tech and at Techstar which is a seed uh, accelerator. Mr. Ashish, welcome. Welcome to the Thai Dubai segment of the Thai Global Summit uh, this year. It's my pleasure to welcome you all over here. My name is Ashish Punjabi. I am the Joe Biden of Thai Dubai, i.e. the president-elect, and I will be taking over as, as president uh, this coming January. Um, we are today as Thai Dubai, a chapter which is extremely vibrant. Uh, we're about 70-odd charter members, and we were incorporated in 2003 in the Dubai Internet City and as part of TCOM. Uh, so we started when the Internet City started and when really the story of Dubai and its e-commerce boom and its Internet boom started as well. Uh, we are privileged to have with us uh, about 1,300 associate members as well, uh, the 70 or charter members and a very, very active uh, mentorship program uh, that currently spearheads us over here today. We will start today's proceedings with a little video from the Dubai Expo. And then after that, we will have a panel discussion which will be moderated by our chapter president emeritus, P.K. Gulati, who probably many of you do know uh, over your journeys over the years. Uh, P.K. is the CEO of the, the Smart Fund and also a senior advisor at Hub71 and a former senior advisor at the Dubai Future Foundation. He will be joined by an elite, uh, elite uh, group of panelists and, and he will do the introductions at that stage. For now, we move on to the video. لقد كان أكسبو 2020 دبي منذ بداية تحضيرنا له أكثر من كونه حدثا يمتد لستة أشهر فهو بالنسبة لنا في دولة الإمارات رحلة نتشارك فيها مع العالم أجمع نتعرف فيها على الآخر الذي ندرك تماما بأنه يبحث عمن يشارك في هذه الحياة بأفراحها وتحدياتها I'm proud of the passion and diligence of my fellow Commissioners General and I am excited by the potential of our collective efforts to learn, to grow and to fulfill the mandate of our nations and of the World Expo itself. These challenges only serve to underline the unique value of the prestigious institution, which bring together the international community in a way that's very close to the heart of the UAE and Dubai. With your support in a full collaboration with the entire Expo family, we will continue to deliver what we have promised and I look forward to welcoming you all to Dubai in 2021. The legacy of Expo 2020 in terms of planning, management, and participation under the challenges of a global pandemic will provide incredibly valuable lessons for all future Expos and mega events. At Expo, we know we need to deliver better than what was planned before. We have the chance to respond to how our world has changed, and so we must seek new definitions of success 
we must drive additional returns on investment and we must achieve tangible, positive outcomes. We must inform wisely and inspire utterly, a world that deserves better than it has today. Within our own Expo community is an indomitable spirit committed to collaboration and to finding the path forward together. So let us take that spirit and begin a new chapter in our journey, one characterized by proactive and productive discussion and tangible real-life outcomes. Thank you, everyone. It was, you know, a few years ago when we saw His Highness standing up with his fingers into a victory salute, telling us that we had won the right to do the expo in Dubai. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming here, for being a part of this panel. We are going live to our friends uh, at Thai Hyderabad who are organizing the Thai Global Summit, which is the largest summit of its kind putting together all kinds of entrepreneurial overtures from around the world through our 61 chapters. Uh, as far as Dubai is concerned, we are gaming up and getting ready for doing a similar Thai Global Summit as a part of the Expo in December 2021. Thank you for coming in and telling people about what we all believe in, which is the visions of the Middle East sitting in Dubai. I have a very esteemed panel out here and who have seen the region grow and who have contributed to make the region the springboard of the world. I start with Dr. Reem Osman. The Reem, uh, Dr. Reem is a trained ophthalmologist and has an MBA and then went ahead to do medical healthcare delivery from Harvard Business School. She's the CEO of the Saudi German Hospital Group in the UAE. And they have operations in Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, and Ras al Khaimah. And under her leadership, Saudi German remains a key player in the evolving healthcare industry in the UAE and more in the international market. Also joining us is Mr. Khalid Al Sharaf. Khalid is the head of international business engagement, international participants at Expo 2020. His work involves developing programs and platforms to support international participants as Expo 2020 in their business plan and includes a business concierge service. He'll be telling us more about how Expo is going to make sure that we actually become, again, the springboard for doing business from the region. Also joining us is Khalid Al Khadi. Khalid is a senior manager UA in international markets at HSBC. HSBC has been, besides being an international global large player in the banking industry, which we all know about, but more importantly in this region, they've also been exceptionally supportive of say, supporting entrepreneurial ventures in the form of mentoring and in the form of sustainable ventures. So we have worked very closely with HSBC and he'll be telling us how HSBC sees this place becoming the springboard to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And last but not the least, we have a dear friend of Thai, Majid Al Suedi. Majid has been a part of our Thai vision for many years. You know, he hosted us at Dubai Internet City as the managing director of Dubai Internet City. And now as the managing director of Dubai Media City, he actually looks at an even larger portfolio of possible ventures. Also, Majid is the founder and the person who started in five, the innovation ventures which TCOM supports. So the incubators that we have here in this region, Majid started them. So we have a close association of Thai with them. So we'll be talking about the various things today. Thank you all for joining us. Let me start with Khalid from Expo. Khalid, we just saw the vision that the leadership laid out for us. Despite all the issues that we had, the world has had because of COVID, we have seamlessly moved from 2020 to 2021 and everything is on and Dubai is ready to welcome the world in Expo. Can you tell us what's happening and how and what people will see when they come here? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Gulati. Um, obviously, we, we live in a, in a different world today than we lived uh, a year ago. 
And but that takes me to 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 the reason or the theme of Expo 2020, which is connecting minds, creating the future. And considering that today humanity is, um, if I may say, at the cusp of a historic transformation in, in many different sectors, like you can see the airline industry, the oil and gas, the real estate is going down, but uh, transportation, energy, technology, finance, um, and other industries that are spurred by the fourth industrial revolution and, um, and had made a generational shift in demographics and consumer behavior. Um, Expo 2020 will be the first and maybe biggest um, place that countries are gonna come together. And you know how the UAE is, is very strong on international cooperation, it's very important. And international cooperation is the way forward when it comes to uh, when it comes to solving these challenges. And we, when if I tell you the way we work in Expo 2020, when uh, we work with 192 countries that are come, that are going to participate, and it's all about all our conversations are about how are we going to solve these challenges. Um, we, 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 we are working with them. We identified what those challenges are. We identified what the future um, industries and, and sectors are. And we are going to, uh, we are going to come together uh, in October 2021, but not as late as October 2021. Actually, we, we, we are already in conversations to come and solve these challenges. But that's, that's from an international cooperation perspective. But also expos, world expos are known to be a place to show new innovations. Expos are known uh, to be a place for nation branding, for cultural exchange. Um, so it is, uh, it is international cooperation. It is fun and entertainment. And most importantly, it is also business. Um, around 80% of these countries are, are looking at Expo 2020 and looking at Dubai being the hub for the region. And I'm sure Mr. Mont is going to talk more about how how Dubai is is connecting everyone and 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 is the gateway in this region. Um, they're looking to solve this. They're they're looking to bring their businesses to expand. They're looking to uh, talk, have conversations between startups and and venture capitalists um, to, to 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 make these connections, right? Uh, and Dubai is known to do that and is going to continue to do that. Um, going forward, and you can see that with uh, with 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 the vision of our leadership. Thank you, Khaled. Um, in fact, there's a unique fact that a lot of people do not know, who probably don't live in the region, is that most of the capacity of the UAE is actually utilized outside its borders. Traditionally, you know, when we you know UAE used to be a trading hub, majority of the goods that use its ports and airports are consumed outside the UAE. Similarly, today in the consulting world, most of the consulting time of the talented resources which call Dubai as a home are used outside in the general region. So we have been a traditional place which actually provides uh, you know, the right environment to actually build a business in the region. Majid, it's a good segue, Khalid mentioned you. You've been a part of one of the most important clusters which actually gave a base to move from traditional trading to the knowledge economy. Would you share with us your thoughts on how, you know, this place has been and will continue to be the place to do business from? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me here today with you. And uh, thank you, PK, for a very, uh, intro, for a very long intro. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, I think the region has show, uh, seen a lot of differences in, in how the business is done since we started uh, or with, uh, since His Highness launched uh, Dubai Internet City in, in 1999 with the aim of uh, making Dubai the hub for uh, a lot of the talent that basically instead of being transit talent uh, to be talent that is located within the UAE and, and since then and since out of the UAE, they will be able to try, basically transit easily to all of the other regions within the within our closer region, makes it uh, the ideal place for them to 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 set up shop and to set up their uh, homes. 
in other words. So uh, I think uh, as as part of the as part of TCOM and as part of the business clusters that we have, I think we've seen exactly what you are saying. I think the business environment has changed in the region uh, over the last 20 years, and the region's importance and Dubai's importance and the UAE's importance as a regional hub has grown uh, stronger and stronger over the years. Um, yet we see a lot of development happening on the ground and a lot of changes that are happening across the world. You know, every year that we uh, differs, uh, and I think uh, this year is no different, although with a lot of challenges with uh, the current uh, pandemic and the current issues that were faced during the beginning of the, beginning of the year. We've actually seen that there is there are a lot of people that are very interested in and also choosing Dubai as a location of choice, because I think they've seen that the opportunities of being part of the region is very important to be. And while you are in the region, you will be able to to uh, to get as much uh, out of the region as possible. So um, businesses across all sectors, and when we talk about sectors, we talk about tech, media, we talk about science, we talk about education. And we talk about uh, others, uh, which we see a lot of development happening in all of these sectors currently. Especially also, not to uh, just to end it here, I think it's also uh, seen very critically, even within the entrepreneurial and small startup sector too, which also shown uh, showed a lot of uh, interest coming up uh, over the last few months. Thank you, Majid. I'd like to bring in Dr. Reem at this point of time and, you know, use her experience to talk about somebody who has come from Saudi Arabia to set up a very large venture based out of this region. Uh, Dr. Reem, what brought you to Dubai and what is your experience of setting up such a large healthcare operation in Dubai? Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you, Ashish, and thank you, Gulati, for moderating this. Uh, actually, it was uh, always part of our vision as Saudi group uh, to to uh, to come to Dubai, mainly as a start, and then of course to all the Emirates in uh, in uh, United Arab Emirates. Um, and why it was always the first target because um, Dubai had so many positives since uh, in the last 12, 20 years developed a lot. Uh, since uh, we started the projects, I, I witnessed a lot of uh, uh, development and improvement in the city culture itself, economic culture and uh, encouraging culture and the atm atmosphere for all entrepreneurs and business people to come. Uh, I always tell them it's very I don't want to say easy work is never easy. It's always challenging, but it's very welcoming atmosphere here to for everyone. To work. It's always important for business people when they are coming from different countries, you are a stranger in a, in, in a new country. So if you don't have welcoming atmosphere for business welcoming atmosphere, it will be difficult for you. Uh, from all entities, government uh, entities, health related, during the construction of the hospital, our first hospital in Dubai, uh, the cooperation from the all uh, Dubai Health Authority, from uh, uh, from uh, Diwa, from uh, Rira, from uh, uh, RTA, from everyone was very essential for us to complete the projects and then operate it, it properly. And after that, also the support during operation because you will have always problems and uh, again challenges here and there. Uh, going to the other, the culture itself is not only. Uh, for Dubai, it's in the whole Emirates. So if I'll say about our experience later on, if we were not happy and uh, really feel comfortable, we'll not go to uh, open in Shara and Ajman. And now our new projects is in Ras Al Khaima starting. And actually my my plan to, to expand in the whole Emirates. At the same time, if I will say, it's not only about expanding in UAE. The benefits of, U of UAE in general, uh, the the open at atmosphere is, as you said, the the airport. The it's not only for Dubai; it's for the whole world. So you are sitting and working and practicing in the center of the world. So that's why also a lot of opportunity will come 
to us as business people when you are practicing in Dubai and working in Dubai because you will have the opportunity to meet a lot of new companies, a lot of business people uh, and expand uh, outside the, the borders of UAE. That's why because we started in Dubai and UAE, we had now our new projects for Pakistan, for example. And these projects came after because of our uh, Dubai expansion. Very good, uh, Dr. Reem. That's a that's that's a great uh, you know a, you know kind of uh, certificate for the ease of doing business with Dubai and how you found it easier to actually set up here and then look at this place for you know as a springboard for the rest of the region. Khalid Al Qadi, this is the time I would want to call you in and to actually you know what makes everything work are the rails of the financial system and the financial system in the region is led by leaders like HSBC and the, 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 you know, the base here supports all these companies and different clusters that are coming up. Do you have a vision and being a part of the international team at HSBC, how do you see this growing and how have you been able to support and what's coming? Thank you. Thank you, PK. I think, first of all, I want to say that I feel very privileged to be uh, amongst such uh, esteemed panelists, and I really appreciate your insight today. Um, look, look in terms of in terms of HSBC's view on this, um, you know, our, our, we are ac across several countries across the group uh, across the globe, but clearly cities are the drivers of growth. Uh, if you if you drill down a little bit into the MENAT region, by twenty thirty five. 28 of the largest 30 cities in the region will grow their populations by 15% or more. Um, so you'll have, you know, uh, you'll have, uh, you'll have significant urbanization in the region. And with that comes, uh, you know, growth, innovation and, uh, and focus. If you think about where those clusters of focus are going to be, you know, the UAE is certainly close to the top of that list, if not the top of that list. And Dubai and Abu Dhabi leading the charge there. But if you think about diversified economies, you know, Dubai in particular, with low single digit, um, you know, dependency on hydrocarbons and uh, on hydrocarbon in a hydrocarbon led economy must be an example of that. Um, you know, if you think of moving from what traditionally economies which are commodity based, hydrocarbon based, uh, with public sector development as the bane of its uh, as the bane of its support uh, and perhaps the manufacturing moving to a, uh, a truly diversified economy, which is focused on sustainability and the circular economy to net to net zero. Um, it, you know, creating and leading in the experience economy. I, my colleague Khalid from uh, Expo spoke about, you know, um, uh, about travel and entertainment earlier on, uh, you know, a true digital transformation, both from a private sector perspective and from a serviceization of the government perspective, you know, over a hundred plus um, things you can do with the government from your phone today uh, and uh, new business models in collaboration between the private sector and the public sector. Um, and, and actually most excitingly, and I think Exco is going to be, Expo is going to be a fantastic fillet for this is, you know, now moving on to create a truly supportive ecosystem for creative industries, education and the health economy to, to drive and thrive. For us, this is incredibly exciting because it will lead to you know, innovation all the way from the SME level, um, even to drive large established private and public sector economy, uh, you know, participants to think about their business models, to think about how they need to change, manage transition risk, uh, and, you know, take advantage of innovation opportunities that the, that the, that the environment is making, you know, uh, uh, easier for them to do. So, so for us, I think the you know the 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 idea of city innovation um, uh, and uh, the support of the government here in particular uh, brings with it tremendous opportunity uh, for all parties in the economy. Thank you, Khalid. From one Khalid to the other Khalid, picking up on innovation and how smarter companies, smaller companies are making this innovation ecosystem thrive. Khalid, how is Expo 2020 going to be the showcase of innovation and how will it actually harness all this, this, this startup SME energy? Great question. I mean, I talked about that uh, we're working with all the countries on, on certain challenges. And what we as Expo are doing is, you know, first of all, let me tell you, uh, the countries themselves, every country has an exhibition. 
And in that exhibition, I'm not talking about the traditional exhibitions where you have booths. No, it's, 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 it's an experience that's going to showcase uh, innovations. So if I look at the past, now we live in a different world, but if I look at the early expos where, um, where countries would come and showcase their innovations, like, for example, the first telephone conversation ever happened in a World Expo. The first mobile phone was showcased in a World Expo. Uh, the escalator, the elevator, um, and, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, but in today's world, um, in today's world, it's difficult. It's 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 very easy actually to access new 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 uh, technologies and innovations. But it's different when you actually experience it. Um, so so you have 192 possibilities and 192 um, uh, opportunities um, as 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 a public visitor. But then bringing the startup industry and bringing the corporate and, and, and the conglomerate industry together is something that we're working uh, very closely with all the countries on uh, and attracting um, uh, not businesses from outside the UAE only, but also uh, supporting the, the, the local ecosystem to benefit from, from, from the World Expo. Because you have uh, countries that are coming to, 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 to Dubai to bring their businesses uh, to connect them to the region, to connect them to the likes of Africa, to connect to South Asia. And, and, and what we're doing is creating that platform to make sure that people come at the right time, meet the right people, and benefit as much as possible. Um, so this is, again, a world, a mega event. And, and our, our aim is to continue Dubai's, uh, Dubai's uh, legacy and, and connecting people and connecting businesses together and continuing the momentum towards a bright future for everyone. Majid, you know, the quest of innovation and quest of supporting great ideas or wild ideas at one time uh, has been something which Dubai has always done. You know, and this 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 quest has been, you know, look at all the icons that we have in Dubai. They are they are they are the testament to that. And in the case of um, you know startups and uh, young innovative ideas, you know, you especially were a part of one of the earliest uh, you know support structures of this kind called Infi, and Infi ended up becoming the base for some of the some of the most innovative companies. You want to talk about how that came about and why, like at, at the time that it started, it was early. Mm -hmm. well, so definitely, I think uh, uh, with your support and with the support of uh, a few colleagues uh, yeah, than others, we've seen the, the growth of M5 over, over the years. Now, the reason why M5 came in was it's a normal uh, step after what has been done for the past years. With uh, with uh, the NFI, with the DIC concept of attracting first of all attracting talent to the UAE, attracting companies to the UAE, attracting uh, individuals with with benefits uh, with you know uh, white collar individuals to come and find UAE as the place for them to do business, and uh, you know the no the the, the natural uh, evolution of how businesses move in. So at the initial phases. It was only representation offices that were there in the UAE and, uh, you know, sales reps trying to sell the products that are uh, of companies that are available and in, in everywhere around the world, but without much happening on the ground from the, from the knowledge part of the equation. But as the idea of His Highness was always to create a knowledge-based economy, we had to transition from where we were before to the next step. And, and this is the, I think this is the beauty of Dubai. It's, uh, the evolution took time, although the time it took is, uh, is rapid comparatively to, what, uh, comparatively to other places around the world. Nevertheless, I think it is very important to say that the evolution took us to where we are at the, today with the M5. So we started with trying to build the ecosystem, trying to find out what the challenges are, trying to find out what else do they require, you know, smaller, smaller companies, what do they require? Not to say that there weren't any smaller companies initially uh, before before we started M5, but I think it was a fragmented industry that was there, and we tried to we tried very hard to bring it together. Um, 
I th- uh, very importantly that we've seen uh, since the beginning, the kind and the developments of the companies that came in has developed uh, drastically. The, the, the talent themselves have st- t- uh, started taking advantage of the, the platform that we have, and they've started bringing in more and more great ideas uh, that not only serves, uh, uh, serves the international market, but also serves the challenges that we have in the region. So the region itself is a, a very, a very interesting region. And I think the set of challenges that we have here might differ a bit to the set of challenges that people might have, uh, might, people are facing in, uh, in Europe or in the U.S. So it was important that we find the development happening here in the region. And I think this was one of the, the key aspects that we focused on during that, uh, d- during that period. And since then, I think very importantly, what we've seen is that we've seen a huge development in the, in the quality of startups and the quality of products that have been uh, uh, created in the region. So I think this has been a, a, a cornerstone of why we are keeping this uh, development. And uh, today, we've actually moved away, not only from, uh, in fact, not moved away, we actually we doubled on our uh, investment within, uh, within M5. And we've actually went into different uh, different industries you know, or focused more into different industries such as design and media. Very good. Uh, Dr. Deem, uh, innovation is something which drives most of the, you know, the large corporations. If they want to get to the next level, they look for innovation. The healthcare industry is also extremely innovative. Like what we see today, the reaction to, for example, COVID-19 epidemic has been something which has put everybody's creative juices working in finding solutions for that. The speed at which we got the vaccine is something to talk about. So how does your organization look at you know, innovation and entrepreneurship and how do you work and see Dubai as a base of innovation which helps you grow more innovative? Thank you, Gulak. Yeah, you were right in highlighting the point of Corona and its effect really on the uh, currently on the on on healthcare specific and the whole economic situation. Uh, having a pandemic situation and crisis situation, it had it teached us a lot to to be more innovative and more uh, fast also. And actually working, I, I always say working in Dubai, which is a really competitive city. Uh, for healthcare and for all industry will force every business uh, uh, or businessman and businesswoman will force us uh, always to keep looking for innovative ideas with new ideas because innovation is the only way of survival for us into healthcare you know telemedicine it really helped us a lot during the corona and if we were not ready already from the infrastructure and ready to to expand the service in one day in one week we will not be able to pass uh, through the crisis uh, also the including now which something we are working on it now including the artificial intelligence for us in our work when it comes whether to the medical services and also to the billing services and making sure that we are uh, really uh, helping in the in our um, uh, helping uh, helping our doctors and our staff in in uh, accurately billing and documenting their uh, their files uh, working into robotic also is a very important. So we have the robotic pharmacy, whether in Dubai, in Ajman, and also the robotic surgery, we are working into this field. So innovation is always important part for us as healthcare. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Khaled, the uh, HSBC, you know, has also been at the forefront of something which is very close to Thai as a whole, which is the pillar of mentoring. We believe mentoring is something which is a committed give back for people who are successful. They need to give back to the people who are, who are growing up or learning to actually help society grow faster. So how has a large bank like HSBC been supportive on things like mentoring? Thank you. Thank you, PK. Look, I mean, uh, I, I think organizationally and personally, it really comes down to the same thing. I think we are members of this society, guests in this economy. Uh, we've got a rich, long heritage that's built on innovation, you know, um, both at the bank level and in the UAE. So it's only natural, I think, that from a 
personality perspective, from a DNA perspective, that the idea of connecting and partnering with economic players in the country uh, is, is is a natural thing that comes to us. You know, we've we, not only do I think, you know, can we help people, um, you know, in their early stages um, through conversations with our very talented executives who dedicate their personal time, you know, to support these uh, to support these entities it gives us perspective you know i think that perspective is really really important because you know we can only live on our history for so long um actually it's really important that we connect with what's going on today understand the difficulties and challenges that entrepreneurs are facing today that can only better inform us as an organization um so you know we have we have been very fortunate we've got a fantastic um you know uh, uh sustainability team who have been um, tying up with people like yourselves and bringing these opportunities to our executives i think it's really really important to get that perspective and we've been very blessed and lucky to have that experience thank you khalid now i believe my audience which is watching us um, today would have got a picture or an idea of what the dubai and the middle east has been working on in terms of the innovation economy and how uh, this is the springboard for doing business in the larger region for a lot of people budding entrepreneurs and companies watching us and at this point i would actually like ask all our panelists to give us or give the audience the message of what they would see and what they should come here to dubai for when we have the tai global summit next year in dubai starting with majid what is your message why they should come and what they will see well i think uh, as as uh, everyone knows i think the the uae has gone is going through a major change and uh, a lot of changes that are positive uh, on the ground and uh, on on a on all levels to be frank and i think as we move into 2021 Uh, this will only get more aggressive and the city will be uh, and the cities within the UAE and especially in Dubai will take a very um, strong route in trying to develop the economy and bring back the economy as as soon as possible and we've seen that happening since the beginning uh, of the third and the second quarter when the, the pandemic started and how the city reacted towards it i think it's uh, it is an opportunity and and to and to uh, you know highlight very importantly i think expo in itself is a is a major milestone not for for the uae and for dubai to be specific i think it's a major milestone for the whole region where it it will play a major role in making sure that the things are uh, are brought in perspective and opportunities are uh, looked into and i think the region itself has huge potential for growth we always believe the region has huge potential for growth for many reasons and one of these reasons is that they've got a lot of opportunities for development that is happening and and hopefully uh, people will take advantage of them as as people took advantage of it uh, since the 2000s at the beginning of the 2000s i think there will be another uh, wave that will come in which will benefit a lot of companies and benefit a lot of people going forward so i think next year um, we are very positive about it we are very uh, optimistic about it we we see that the opportunities that will come uh, will be coming in will uh, hopefully uh, you know take advantage of the situation that we had this year and try to companies will try to uh, uh, recover a lot of what uh, they didn't get in 2020 and 2021 so they will be very bullish in in, in services and providing um, a lot of these opportunities uh, and i think as as always i think uh, dubai and the uae will always be the the, the uh, you know the ideal location for you to do business and to develop your business opportunities here whether you are an entrepreneur or whether you are an uh, whether you are an established company that looks at uh, you know uh, trans going outside their current uh, state and, and transiting into different countries around the region i think the uae and dubai will will definitely be the place of choice going forward and uh, we are, with expo i hope to see everyone here next year dr reem what is your message to the young and budding audience that is watching us i want to say something that uh, the ease that dubai passed the corona stage even still going on but moving on it's really in my opinion as also because we were in healthcare so we were in the middle of of it it's a lesson to be taught to so many 
cities or or uh, uh, to so many people around the world. So why people should come? Because they should come because it's one of the rare cities that business was not really affected so hard when it comes through pandemic and through crisis situation. They should come to see some good examples of how to run businesses through a crisis and how to survive a crisis and how to maintain your business people through crisis. This is my opinion. Thank you, Dr. Reem. Yes. Khalid Al Qadi, you know, you know, what is the money man's message to people? Oh, I, I couldn't claim to. If I, if I meet one, I'll let you know. Um, but uh, in terms of it, when you when you ask me in my view, what do you mean in terms of what specifically? PK? What's the message? What's the message to the audience? Like, you know, what we're building here, and when we do the Tri Global Summit next year with the Expo, what is the message? What will they see? What should they come for? What is it that we are building here? So, so uh, for me, I think that we are uh, in in Arabic. We say, you know, there's something called nasib or or or, or maktub. And to be honest, after all the difficulty that we've gone through, it is the, it's it's this concept of destiny that actually the world comes back together in what I think is one of the cradles of innovation and agility. And it's so exciting that after the challenges of 2020, we can look forward to a collaboration of minds, a collaboration of, uh, uh, of nations from all over the world, the highest number, I believe, uh, of uh, international pavilions in Expo history uh, to share ideas for a better shared future. Can you imagine if we hadn't had this, that, you know, I think the emphasis is slightly even more pronounced, you know, now, uh, now, that, now that we've gone through everything we've gone through. So for me, I think bring your, bring your A game, you know, bring the innovation uh, and change uh, and uh, uh, and bravery to do something different because I think the environment here will support you. Thank you. And I leave the last message to Khalid uh, Sharaf from Expo. Well, we are waiting for the Expo to happen. So what is the message to all the people watching? I think my fellow panelists uh, couldn't have said it better. I mean, if you if you. Uh, uh, the, the timing that the summit is happening and the location that the summit is happening in couldn't be better also. It's happening alongside Expo 2020, which is going to be the biggest and largest uh, place where everyone is going to come together. So alongside the summit that I am sure will, will, will astonish everyone in terms of its content, you also have Expo 2020 that's right at the doorstep and you are going to be dazzled by all the content you will see, by the country pavilions, by the entertainment that is happening, by the connections that you'll make, not only in the, uh, in, in the summit, but also in Expo 2020. So this is definitely the one event that you shouldn't miss and don't miss the summit in, in Expo 2020. Thank you, Khalid. And uh, thank you, everyone, you know, Majid, Dr. Reem, Khalid and Khalid for joining us and giving this message. And my message to everybody, book your tickets, be there. And we are watching and we are looking forward to having you all over. And on behalf of Thai Global Summit 2020, Hyderabad, and on behalf of Thai Dubai, thank you very much for spending the time with us. So after that beautiful session and a lot of knowledge that was imparted, uh, let me also invite all of you to Thai Global Summit 2021, which is happening in Dubai at the Dubai Expo 2020 in December. And we look forward to having you in person. Up next, brain has two different sides. Though one side of the brain is dominant, with a few tricks, you can activate both hemispheres so that you can be both creative and logical. The next session is on the same, uh, aligning the left and the right brain, an artist impression presented by Asra Abrahampur. Breathe. Yo
your life is your life. Don't let it be up into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. You can't beat death, but you can beat death and life sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvelous. The gods wait the delight in you. Transferring our impulses into body and drawing helps alignment and balance as an individual, as an entrepreneur, and as a human being. It releases fear and blocks and allows you to explore a wider horizon of emotions and life. Breathe. beautiful video by the artist i was moved and guys remember to breathe up next i would like to invite the speaker mr zaid mader he is the president tai dubai funding partner founding partner meditary with over 3 decades of experience and a proven track record at leading global corporations zaid mader is a digital native leader in emerging technologies 5g entrepreneurship and a firm believer that the right talent powers innovative businesses. As a founding partner of Meditari, a digital advisor network, Zaid's expertise helps bridge the gap between global innovation and local opportunities. He is the executive chairman at Coconut, an online social recruitment community for hospitality industry that offers an extensive portfolio for candidates or clients facing problems. With so many hats in his ring, Zaid is a global, re globally recognized intellectual, professional moderator and active participants in the World Economic Forum and shares his learning in the field of IoT, 5G, advanced technologies and entrepreneurship. He is driven to support and build the region's innovation ecosystem as a true believer in the power of the digital era. Please welcome, by putting our hands together digitally, for our next speaker, Mr. Zayed. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you, PK, and the wonderful uh, panel about uh, the visions of the Middle East. I hope uh, 
the audience have enjoyed it and uh, found it very useful and insightful and encouraging uh, move for all of us uh, in the next direction. Uh, this year, 2020, has definitely been a very strange year, but also it has a year what we have, where we have learned. We've learned to cooperate better globally across boundaries, across continents, across societies, across even different fields, and to do better and improve the world all from our different perspectives. We have seen this, uh, you know, personally, we have seen this at the professional level, but most importantly, I've seen this every day in the way we have done work at Thai Dubai and more importantly at Thai globally. So today we are in, in Thai Global Summit 2020 in Hyderabad and we are starting the journey toward Thai Global Summit 2021 in Dubai. And it is not only that we will meet in 12 months from now, there's a long journey that will take place. Every step along the way will be shared, will be a collaborative move and we look forward to the support of everybody along the way. Uh, joining after me in the next uh, you know, uh, few segments are Ashish Panjabi, our president-elect. He will be taking over from me uh, end of this month and you know, it will be under his uh, leadership that we will see the, the, the next two years of uh, Thai Dubai metamorphosis and continuous evolution. And of course, PK will, will, uh, will, will, will be supporting us with uh, his new role as well, in addition to him being our president emeritus on the global board of trustees of Thai Dubai. So again, we welcome you all in Dubai, any time of the year, but particularly next year in December for Thai Global Summit 2021. Thank you. Thanks, Zayed. We all are looking forward to come to Dubai. <laughs> well, my next speaker that I'm gonna invite is uh, PK Gulati. He's the president emeritus Thai Dubai, founder Smart Smart Fund. Prashant K. Gulati, popularly known as PK, is an entrepreneur, idea accelerator, angel investor, mentor, and writer with interest in exponential technologies, innovation, startups, entrepreneurship, future work, mobility, knowledge sharing, and more. He is an active early investor in startup and fresh ideas. With a portfolio of ventures in India, Middle East, and US, he is actively involved in providing mentorship, guidance, and advice to such companies at various levels for over, over a decade. He has been actively associated with Thai, Dubai Future Foundation, the Assembly, N5 Innovation Center, Shera, Smart Smart Fund, NASCOM, Future Now, Dubai Enterprise Center, Indian Documentary Foundation, and many other global initiatives, beside multiple board and advisory positions. Welcome, Mr. P. Gulati. Thank you so much, Akriti. Thank you for this uh, pretty long introduction. But uh, the, the most uh, close to me and close to Thai is my association with Thai over the last 20 years. And uh, now, uh, you know, in the last three days, we've seen an exceptional Thai Global Summit where people, you know, have seen a very large number of, uh, uh, you know, our chapters bring together all the talent that we have amassed globally uh, in front of them. And now it's our duty to actually take the baton, go forward and bring together the same and more and do a better job of showcasing Dubai, showcasing Thai, and showcasing all the talent that lies within Thai and make a difference to the world. Our central focus has always been fostering entrepreneurship to support entrepreneurial ventures and to make sure that we are able to provide the world the leadership and support in the form of developing of entrepreneurship globally. The Dubai chapter has been doing it and looks forward to getting us all together in, uh, in, in this great, great possibility called the Expo 2020. So hopefully you're all getting ready. We are to welcome you to Dubai. Be there. Mr. BK, you're inviting with so much love. I'm sure everybody who's watching wants to come and be a part of Dubai Expo 2020. Up next, I would like to invite Mr. Arshish Punjabi, once again, the President-Elect Thai Dubai and COO of Jackie's Business Solutions. Welcome, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Thai Hyderabad and Thai Global for making sure the Thai Global Summit happened in 2020. Uh, these are extenuating circumstances, but it just shows when you want to get something done, there is a way of getting it done. And this is the story of Dubai. This is the story of what we've seen in the UAE. And this is a week where we've seen the mother of all events, the Jitex uh, technology exhibition, happen in person in Dubai, where you've had 1,200 companies from over 60 countries participating and exhibiting at the show. Um, that is a testament to how we found a way of making sure that things happen. Uh, there is a pandemic, yes, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And as we get towards the end of the year, where we start to see the signs of the vaccine coming out, as we start to see people wanting to get out and, and, and get back to normal, Dubai has shown the way in terms of how we can have the economy running, how we can have life running as normal as possible, but being safe at the same time and doing it all responsibly. For us, the journey to Thai, Dubai, uh, Thai Global Summit 2021 has already started. Dubai has, has, has given us the energy, has given us the impetus, and you don't need to wait till then. Please come in, visit us now as well, but make sure in 2021 at the expo that you're here, because we're gonna make sure it's a global summit you're never gonna forget. Thank you all very much. Congratulations again once again to everyone for being here uh, this time and have a happy new year. Thank you so much, Ashish, Zayed and PK sir. Um, so my friends, Thai Global Summit 2020 is happening in Dubai at the Expo 2020 in December and we look forward to having you. And here is a video to give you a glimpse of what you're going to see. The United Arab Emirates is a great but still very young nation but it's built on a foundation and strength of open cooperation between the seven emirates and its visionary leaders, between a diverse group of Emiratis from different backgrounds and with almost 200 nationalities welcomed and embraced here so that we can work together so we can reach the stars. Being part of the fabric of this great nation since 1965, Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry is proud to now represent, support and protect the interests of over 245,000 businesses and entrepreneurs by working together with trusted partners, both locally and globally. We look forward to welcoming you all here in the UAE for what's going to be an unforgettable expo and a great TIE's Global Summit 2021. If you're bold, innovative and entrepreneurial. This is where you need to be. This is where the future connects to the world through Dubai. This is where we can work together to make all of this possible. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amma Al Malik, the Managing Director of Dubai International City. Dubai International City has been for the last 20 years attracting some of the largest technology companies to set up base here in the UAE. We now have over 1,600 companies. Most of them are companies that you know and use on a daily basis. In addition to that, we've been working really hard to develop the technology ecosystem and the startup ecosystem here in the MENA region. That's why some of the most successful companies that you know and startups that you know are coming up from Dubai International City's community. With partnerships with Thai Dubai, which has been going on for also 20 years, we've been very successful in putting people together, creating communities, and most importantly, opening doors and opportunities for companies and entrepreneurs throughout the Middle East region. Going forward, we look forward for 2021 for two main reasons. Number one, there are new visa regulations that allow startups and entrepreneurs to set up base in the UAE here very smoothly. But more important than that is the 2021 Thai Global Summit happening here during Expo. It's a very exciting time for us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a good day. The MENAT region has always been one of the most exciting regions for us here at HSBC. The pace of urbanization between now and 2035 is going to pre present tremendous opportunities and challenges. 28 of our 30 largest cities in the region will grow their population by 15% in that time period. That's gonna mean that the shift from public sector hydrocarbon economies 
to economies with knowledge, sustainability and creative industries at their heart is going to be more important than ever. We can't think of a better ecosystem and environment than the UAE to foster that kind of change. Join us at the Thai Global Summit at Expo in 2021 to talk more about it. I look forward to seeing you all there. Guided by a visionary, agile and resilient leadership and people, the UAE has become a global powerhouse. And now, Expo 2020 Dubai has its sights set on creating the best future possible for tomorrow's generations around the world. Through this mega event, we are contributing to the UAE's and the world's knowledge and creative economies. We are promoting innovation and nurturing and showcasing the next great transformative breakthroughs in technology. To help us, we are welcoming thinkers, disruptors and entrepreneurs through our gates for six months of exploration and excitement. In fact, we bring the whole world together in October 2021 to create, collaborate and innovate. We will be celebrating the best of human achievement at Expo 2020 Dubai, the world's greatest showcase where more than 200 participants will share ideas, their creativity and inventions. A global event with a legacy that will continue to shape the future of our planet and unlock the potential of individuals and communities worldwide, long after it has ended. We look forward to joining you at the Thai Global Summit and welcoming you and your families to the UAE at Expo 2020 Dubai.